Have you ever tried to add your logo or your picture onto a billboard or onto Times Square, for example, but you ended up with something that looked like this? Well, in the past, doing something like this has been very difficult. You had to use After Effects and it was like a day worth of work until you get a result like this. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get literally the same result within just a few clicks with the brand new Filmora 14. It's super simple, super fast. Make sure you stick around until the end. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Julian. I'm the creator of Smartphone Filmmaking Pro. On this channel, we show people how they can shoot better videos using their smartphones, using a professional camera, and also how you can monetize those videos and edit those videos. So in case that's interesting for you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So as I've showed you already in the intro shot, adding your logo, adding your picture to a billboard can look very horrible if you don't know how it works. Luckily for us, we're living in the year 2024 and AI is taking over the world not only in written content but also with videos and in my opinion Filmora 14 is the most advanced when it comes to AI features and making them user friendly and easy to use so I would say without any further ado let's just hop into the program and I'm just going to show you how it works so we're going to have two examples for you guys the first one is going to be this one as you can see this is um, a moving shot of a laptop and it is already you know as you can see it does have a green screen with shots as you can see them right here the issue issue is not the chroma keying like that is obviously super simple but the change of perspective that's where things get really really tricky and then later on in the video make sure you stick around we're gonna have an even more difficult example and this is a shot that I captured um, out of a boat in Venice this year and we're just gonna find out if Filmora is gonna be able to track that and change the perspective and yeah we're just gonna find that out but first up let's kick things off with this shot right here it's basically as you can see it's a laptop and I just want to add Add something onto the laptop maybe a thumbnail or whatever it, it basically I'm just going to show you how it works and then your creativity can run wild in case you're not familiar with Filmora I've done plenty of videos already I even made a master class for them like in case you want to know how the program works in general make sure you click that video up there there's a full walkthrough over how you can find everything and how the program is structured I made that last year already and like I said today we're going to focus on some of the AI features we're going to kick things off with the planar or tracking. We're also going to make more videos in the future, so definitely make sure you subscribe to not miss them. So the first thing that we need to do is to select the clip and then hop over here. As you can see, we have video color speed and we're in the basic settings right here and there you can just change like the scale and all that kind of stuff. But we're going to hop over to the AI features, to the AI tools. And as you can see, the chroma key, like in case we just wanted to, you know, um, remove the green screen, we could do that over here with the chroma key, but we're going to scroll down and there we can see a brand new feature with Filmora 14 and that is the planar tracking. We're just going to enable that right here and then we have two options. We have the auto and the advanced and I'm just going to kick things off with the advanced right here and then basically all we need to do is just select the edges that we want to track and I'm just going to like obviously the more time you spend doing that the better results you're going to get. I'm just going to do that here pretty rough and pretty quick just to see how good this is going to work. As you can see that clip is now selected. Um, I could you can actually change the accuracy just going to keep that at default for now but you could also bump that up too high in case you want to get the best results possible and then all you need to do is click this track forward button and then it's just going to kick things off and it's just going to go frame by frame through the clip just so that you know full transparency i'm using an m2 macbook air right now the base model with just eight gigabytes of ram so this is by no means like an editing machine that is handling these things well but as you can see it's actually not doing too bad of a job so if we play this back you can see this is actually looking pretty good um, I actually missed the beginning so don't worry I think it should be fine and then all we need to do is go here to yeah what I wanted to say so this is not a like a, a heavy editing machine by any means at all but it's still handling Filmora super well this is very well optimized for the M series of chips from Apple so it's working pretty well and yeah I had no issues using it with my MacBook so we're just going to go here to link element and then go to import from computer and then 
yeah, let's just pick this random um, thumbnail that I have right here. And then as you can see, it places it automatically. And this is what I have been talking about before. Like it has also changed the perspective because this is obviously not like, um, like completely frontal. It is like a, a little bit from the side and the laptop is um, spit over to the, or like bent over to the side a little bit. And if we play it back, you can see it tracks it automatically super well. And yeah, I think it's doing like a really good job. I like that. Like the one thing that I can notice is um, like there, I can still see the green a little bit. So we might, let me see if I can change that. Go over here to that layer of the picture right here, change the scale. Yeah, we can change the scale scale, but we I, I think I would need to pick like a, a further out um, point of the screen so that I don't see the green anymore. So maybe that's something that I will need to change. But generally speaking, like as you have seen, like getting a result like this only took me like I don't know, you have been here in real time. There are basically no cuts in this video. So that's super nice. And yeah, next time I'm just gonna select some even further out points of the laptop to get even a better result. But overall, that has been freaking good. So I'm just gonna delete that for now. And now we're gonna come over to this even more difficult um, project. Um, I'm just gonna say match to media. And as you can see, so what we have here this is basically just a shot, as I said before, that I captured in Venice. And what we're going to try is, let's see which of these um, buildings are we going to take. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's pick that, the, the first one right here. And this time I'm just going to, let's just see at the end, because at some point it's getting blocked. So yeah, let's say something like this. Let's see what it's doing um, by the time it gets blocked. I'm just going to go to the very first frame. Then again, um, select the clip right here, hop over to AI tools, enable planner tracking, and then again, go to advanced. We're going to drag this over and then I'm just going to select these outer points right here. That looks good. Then we're going to go over to this edge. Let's pick this edge and then another one, then another one here something like this. I think that should be pretty good. And then again, all we need to do is um, click the analyze button. And as you can see, it's just going frame by frame through it. And yeah, at some point it will be blocked by the bridge. So I'm pretty curious to see what it's going to do. So there's the bridge coming, see what it is doing. Okay, is it keeps that not I'm interested to see if it will actually cut that out. But yeah, again, basically, all we need to do is just go to a link media. Yeah, so let's take this picture right here. And as you can see, it is squeezing that in my personal for my personal liking, I think it's squeezing it a bit too much. It does not look super natural. And there it also does not um, cover it behind the bridge. Like obviously, like it can't know that like that would really blow me away if, if it if, if it was able to do that as well. But overall, let's go back into this part right here, change the scale, make that a little bigger. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, if it's bigger, I think that looks better now. It's a little shaky. Maybe if we bump up the quality when it comes to the tracking for now, we're using the default. Let's just bump it up too high. Let's see if it's doing, it's analyzing it new. Um, I think then you're going to get like, I'm sure you're going to get better results. But generally speaking, like I think you get the picture and this just opens up a completely new world of possibilities because now you're not like basically in the past, if you do, if you didn't know how to use After Effects or like DaVinci Resolve and you were like super advanced, you could not do something like this. Like even for a picture, doing something like this is quite a taxing task and just being able to do it like this fast and this quality just completely blew me away. So that's why I thought I wanted to show you this feature and also Filmora is supporting the channel. So thank you very much Filmora. You can download the brand new Filmora down below. They do have a free trial where you can basically just test out everything for free. Let's see if it, this is now looking better. Yeah. So as you can see, the like the shaking is gone now if we bump up the quality from default to high. So that's looking really nice. And yeah, I think that actually looks pretty damn good. So as I said before, in case you want to check it out for yourself, I will link it down below. We'll be the first link below that like button. In case you want to learn more about shooting high quality videos and being able to capture shots like this in the first place, also make sure to check out Smartphone Filmmaking Pro. I will link that down below. And again, huge thanks to Filmora for supporting the channel. And thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.